few months back I created a video titled how to get better at drawing. And a lot of you probably got here because of that. I had taken a different approach with it. Instead of focusing on the actual process of drawing, I dedicated it more to the mindset and the things you need to know before you even set out improving that skill. Throughout this series I'm going to be taking this concept further. I'm using it as an opportunity to explore different aspects surrounding the subject of being creative. I want to make it clear that I am still learning myself. A lot of the time I will relate to my own experience. Of course you are more than welcome to add to this discussion by commenting below. Like always I'll be doing some drawing over this and in this episode we are going to start with the why. The whole reason why you want to do it. This is probably the, the best place to start this series off because it's important to recognise the reason why you want to do something and this applies to when you want to do anything. So if it's a, a skill that you want to learn or improve, you need a, a reason behind it. A lot of you watching are probably in some way a creative person and are focusing on some kind of task whether that is drawing or perhaps something else. Um, if you are currently doing that and have already decided that you want to do something then you've most likely already got that reason why and it's important to be able to recognise what that is. So for example let's say you want to get better at drawing because I know a lot of you who are watching probably have that intention. For instance you might want to use it for your job or a future career because drawing is useful in many areas, maybe you're just doing it for your own satisfaction or maybe you're even trying to turn it into some sort of profitable hobby and trying to start earning some money from it or you can just apply these skills that you are learning in other areas whatever it is um, I think throughout this series I'm going to reflect back on myself and talk about my own experience so then it makes it more authentic and genuine um, see my reason for why I started drawing changed as I progressed and moved forward with everything and um, so what I mean by that is before I was making these videos I would draw for my own enjoyment and that's fine because a lot of people do that and then I started to take it more seriously and focused on improving a lot of the time I was influenced by people's reactions and trying to impress them with my work which might not have been the best reason but it wasn't just for that but I always knew that I wanted to do something with it at least or use it to do something good and so eventually I went onto YouTube to make these videos and to this day I've just been putting all my energy into this, creating this sort of content and using drawing as a tool and subject for these videos. And now I'd probably say like one of the biggest reasons why is for me to try and inspire other people to create but as I've just said, your reason why can change over time as you grow with what it is you are doing. And uh, it's the thing that comes right at the start, you find and understand why you want to do it and then you can sort of carry that reason in your mind as you are working towards it. This, this might sound like I'm getting a little bit deep but just uh, bear with me. Let me think of um, another example, for instance, sometimes when you feel like slowing down or you think you are losing interest, you can uh, remind yourself. We all know how frustrating it is learning something, especially if I'm, I'm relating to drawing. It takes so much time and uh, results don't come straight away, you just sort of have to keep going with it and sometimes it's easy to maybe have a few days off or uh, a few weeks off or you'll say that you're going to do it later. I'm guilty of that too, like we all have that feeling where we kind of know we should do something but we always put it off or just distract ourselves in other ways. Recently I have been trying to get into some kind of routine seeing as this channel's growing and I want to keep putting up content for you so it does take a lot of effort sometimes especially if I need to produce a drawing or whatever. But going back to that reason why, sometimes when I feel like just not working on a drawing or practicing I try to remind myself of that reason why and I'm reminded that I have an audience to create videos for and I end up practicing anyways. And even when this channel had less than 100 subscribers for about a full year, I still got myself to practice because my reason then was, uh, you know, I, I wanted to make this YouTube channel and I want to draw and do something with it and all that. So there was still that reason there and uh, that reason why is what made me keep going, whether it was just practicing drawing in the early days or doing this YouTube stuff now. So if if you have this desire to want to learn how to do something, um, for instance if it is drawing, then ask yourself why. It can be as simple as just doing it for the enjoyment and doing it as something to pass the time. You don't have to dedicate everything to that if you are only doing it as a hobby and for yourself. I think what matters the most then is just being happy doing that for the reasons that you want to do it. 
but if you are in a position where you want to do something else with it and uh, maybe it's something more of a hobby, maybe at the minute you're still practicing or you, you don't feel like you are good enough, then in turn you might not be happy because you feel like you are not getting to where you want with it and um, you're not meeting that reason why. But don't be too harsh because everything's a slow process, um, especially if it's something worth learning and uh, having the ability like the skill of being able to draw. It's a lot of small steps at a time and as long as you are going in the direction of this reason why and you have that reason in your head, then you'll slowly get there eventually. Through that process as well, you'll be surprised at how many times the reason why can change. I would have never expected to be making videos like this on YouTube a few years ago because I was just drawing for my own enjoyment. I didn't really expect to be doing anything with it and uh, I'm always coming up with multiple reasons why I'm doing it so like it doesn't just have to be the one thing it could be more than that if it's something that you are really serious about then you've probably convinced yourself with all kinds of reasons why you want to do that thing and then you can just use them to push you forwards and keep working to whatever it is you want to do. If any of you watching are maybe not even interested in learning how to draw, or maybe don't even consider yourself as a creative person at all, I don't know what made you click on this video, but I hope in some way that you can apply some of the advice um, to something else that you are interested in. If you would even call it advice, I don't know if I'd refer to it as that, it's more or less uh, like an insight as well. And I try to relate to what it is I'm talking about obviously because how could I possibly create something about a subject that I have no relation or experience with? That wouldn't even uh, make sense and as a result I wouldn't even expect you to watch it because everything I say wouldn't be honest in, in some way. I don't know but this has been the first episode of this series, Creative Mindset Fundamentals. It's just a title that I came up with. If uh, a lot of you watch these videos then you'll know that I'm not not the best at coming up with titles but I hope this is something that has some kind of value for you and you might just be here for the drawing for this time lapse that's going on right now. Uh, this pencil that I'm actually using is called a Blackwing pencil and I'm planning on reviewing that soon probably in an episode of Draw Talk. Also for the future of this series I intend on covering all kinds of topics that I think would be useful to you or at least I always try to think what would have been useful to me when I was learning how to draw or interested in that subject. But I think that pretty much concludes this first episode. I hope you enjoyed this, I'm experimenting with a lot of content so let me know if you liked it and also take some time out to leave a comment explaining the reason why you draw or create or do whatever it is you do. Thank you all for watching, have a great day, I'll see you in the next video.